Hello, this is Aaron with Yesterday's Games, and today we're going to be continuing along with Dishonored. And uh, today we're going to be playing through uh, Mission 3, which is uh, going after the Pendleton Twins. So let's uh, let's get jump jump right in. Um, and again, I'm going to let uh, Samuel talk so we can get a little bit of the uh, little bit of the ambiance here when we first start. I'll get you as close as I can to the Golden Cat, Corvo. You'll have to go the rest of the way on your own. The entrance is near Holger Square. The main thing is to make sure that little girl, Emily, gets back all safe and sure. Them two Pendletons are there, so I'm guessing there'll be a lot of guards. Slackjaw might have some ideas on helping you get inside the cat, if he don't kill you. This here's his territory. He and his Bottle Street gang hole up at the old Dunwall Whiskey Factory. They sell the elixir that folks use to fight off the plague. I'll lay low, but keep an eye out for you and the little lady you bring him back. Good luck to you. I know Emily must mean a lot to you. Be careful going up the street, Corvo. A river hand I know pulled up alongside me last night and said there's one of those watchtowers on Clavering now. I guess you getting rid of Campbell shook up the Lord Regent. All right, so as we uh, move along here, um, this one's a little odd just because it's well, it's the same level that we uh, we were just on, uh, but a few changes. They've tightened up security a bit. You can see a few people get wasted here on the bridge. So we want to be careful that that uh, doesn't happen to us. As we move along here, we're gonna, you know, see our first guard, and uh, grab a couple of coins off him. But he's not gonna bother us, so we can leave him alone. Attention, Dunwall citizens. Thaddeus Campbell, formerly High Overseer, is no longer a citizen of Dunwall. Yeah, that heretic's brand, uh, that was kind of a fun one in the last hey, mission. you're just the man I was looking for. Slackjaw's wanting to talk Well, to imagine you. that. He's the, uh, we're looking for him too, so it's gonna work out. That him? Yeah, he's the one. Hey, we got a message for you from Slackjaw. He wants to talk at the distillery. Well, that's a good thing because we are at the distillery. So neutral zone, it's nice. Uh, again, we're still going for that. Never detected and uh, not killing anyone. Easy, easy. And so it's uh, it's nice for these areas where you know, look, I can be seen by these guys. I'm not going to lose that, lose that um, kind of uh, setting when we go through the mission. My men were right. You do look like a man out for murder. <coughs> Way I figure it, there ain't nobody worth killing around here except those two Pendletons over at the Golden Cat. I'm right, ain't I? See, slack your nose. Them boys are twins. Rich, mean, and weird. Worse than most of their ilk. They've been laying low there a while, not sure why. There's a lot of security at the Golden Cat tonight, though. Special guests and the like. But you're gonna walk in there dressed like that and kill the Pendleton brothers? Maybe I got a better way to take care of them, too. If you're doing something for me first, understand? Someone, I don't know who, is killing my men, taking my territory, stealing my goods. Might be a fellow name of Galvani. I sent my best man to investigate, but he went missing and... Well, now I need someone to find what happened to him. Go to this Galvani's place. He lives nearby off Clavering Boulevard. You do that for me and I'll get your better way into the Golden Cat. Doesn't sound too good for his boy that uh, got pinched looking around. Um, but 
we're uh, we're a sight more resilient than that, so I think we're going to be just fine. But Slackjaw is kind of an interesting character, where he's uh, get stuck on a get stuck on a guy there. Hey, but uh, yeah, Slackjaw is an interesting one. He's uh, not bad. Always, he kind of wants to deal, wants to do work. Uh, you can tell he's not the kind of guy that you want to cross, unless you're unless you're uh, you're us. Then that's that's really not that big a deal. So sneaking out of here, um, we're gonna want to be a little bit careful because there's uh, there's some extra extra guys lurking around. Picked up anything good? Huh. Yeah, yep, see there, there's our first guy up there. Think about hitting him with a sleep dart from here, but we, I'm thinking there could be another guy around. Don't want to get spotted. <laughs> Choking him up, so. He can stay. Start this guy across the way. Good night. I heard another guy teleport around there, so I'm not sure where he's at. Looking around, looking around. I know he, he typically shows up in that uh, on that balcony up there, so ideally. We want to see him before he sees us and uh, give him the old sleep dart as well. We hear that guy snoring behind us. Oh, there he is. Finally showing himself. We should be able to do a nice little lean out here. And... Right in the neck. There we go. Prudent not to leave these guys laying around. Ah, spring razors, probably not going to need them this playthrough, so that should be just fine. Another guy here taking a nap. Lay these guys together, they'll have a little nap. Oh, that's a bit unpleasant. But we're just gonna work our way up over this rooftop. And there's Dr. Galvani's office is over there. A few guards, we're not definitely not gonna be walking in the front door. There's that guard tower on the left that we were talking about. Had a little reset here, just uh, the Windows Defender decided it wanted to uh, give the computer a scan right as right as we were, uh, I was doing some recording, so. They heard something, but as you'll see kind of at the end of this, uh, end of this mission, we're doing just fine. Nobody's, uh, nobody spotted us. Now they did nearly see me here but I gotta say I'm definitely I'm far from perfect at this game but um, I'm, I'm pretty surprised how often I get like nearly spotted dealing with uh, kind of dealing with these guys so So we're gonna have a sneak through the house here. How much did they pay you? I ain't telling you that. Come on, coin two, four, what you mean? They pay you in coin? I get my what do you think? I think he's dead, right? I know that. I mean, do we have suspects? Suspects? What? Suspects? We ain't gonna waste time solving who killed him. Personally, I great detective work by these two. But what are you gonna put on your report? I'm gonna say we found one of Slackjaw's men inside, all dead and bloody, and that you are a stinking idiot. 
It's Dunwall's finest right here. Yep, we'll just need his key. Again. Surprised that I'm never spotted this Things close. Could the and then a distance. Any worse? Indeed, At distance, I'll be, so. you know, nearly, I'll be, you know, partially spotted by these guys. Uh -huh. So he's wandering off. Got a little uh, message uh -huh. from Crowley. And we'll just pop back out here, outside. Easy as that. having a little little pause there but back in action I was kind of like moving around without having the uh, weapons out because uh, in this style of playthrough anyway um, for the vast majority of the time don't need them Pop down again. Didn't need the didn't need the weapons out, but it's always nice to teleport around. And we'll just have a run back over to here. Hey, hey, hey! Wait a bit. What just occurred to me? Two guys having a pretty funny uh, interaction there you know one guy's figuring out the other one's taking him for whiskey but uh, here we go what's this information for my missing guy let's have a listen dead. Too bad. He was one of my best men. Still, you and me had a deal, and Slackjaw never goes back on a deal. Take this key. It ain't for the Golden Cat, no. This key's for the captain's chair. A hotel abandoned since the plague gutted this part of town. Take the stairs to the top. You can use the roof to get into the Golden Cat brother. See that? Slackjaw keeps a bargain. Just as good as the men who run the city. Maybe a little better. You think about that. Now maybe we can help each other out again. I could get rid of the Pendletons for you. Quiet like and maybe killing them. But you gotta do something for me in return. The cat's having a big reopening tonight. Lot of money clients. Including an arts dealer named of Bunting. He's got particular tastes, or so I've been told by some of the ladies. Got some pretty fancy stuff locked away at his place. And the only thing preventing me from nabbing all that loot is the combination to his safe. Of course, the Pendletons have been camped out there for months too, not sure why. So that means a lot of the City Watch and other soldier types. Bring me that combination, my masked friend, and then I take care of the Pendleton brothers. Just like that. You ain't never even gonna touch them. And I promise, I won't kill them, and no one will ever see them again. Now, if that ain't a deal, Slackjaw don't know what is. All right, so, big monologue from Slackjaw there. Um, well, Koro is, um, well, surprisingly, or maybe unsurprisingly, uh, mute. But his, his boy Crowley was kind of a terrible actor. Um, but, you know, hey, he was uh, working for a 
for a guy in a old whiskey distillery, so you know, teach his own. Got anything to smoke or eat? Huh. But anyway, that kind of reveals the first part of our uh, non-lethal, non-lethal part of things. Um, basically, we can go and get Slackjaw some more. Um, do another deal for him. You'll get him this combination, and he'll take care of them for us. Um, and you know, we we never even have to see the Pendleton uh, Pendleton twins. Um, which, you know, makes things significantly easier on our end. Um, we're going to be making several round trips because uh, after we go to the Golden Cat, get uh, get this combination, we got to roll back and go and get Emily. Now, thinking about it, I probably could have, uh, you know, two birds with one stone. Got, um, got Emily out and then come back, you know, and just done this on the way back through. But, you know, gotta be safe. There's a few uh, plague victims over there down the, down the uh, alleyway that we'll have to maneuver around after a little bit. Oh, had a uh, little hiccup there. Um, part of that is trying to get this one right. So they're, uh, We've been on half rations for a week. These two guys the over. No, are please, trying to take the ration from this no, gal. I need it for my little one so he won't get sick. <laughs> I deal the elixir. I'm not a thief. She's thank lucky you. there. Thank you, sir. Real lucky. You saved me. How can I thank you? I have nothing. Oh. Wait. Yeah, we don't need it. your cutscene. But yeah, those couple of guys there, they'll be fine. Nobody wanders back here. But you know what? You know what I'm thinking about. I better, I better at least chuck them in the, uh, chuck these guys in the bin. That's, that's the, uh, that's the throw them, throw them hard to chuck, not the, uh, not the easy one. Non-compliance is a punishable offense. Just trying to figure out a way to get across this street without uh, anybody noticing who we are. Why we were checking out. Heard something. And he can hear as much as he wants, but we're good to go. And again, the amount of times that I almost get spotted is, uh, well, maybe a little embarrassing, but... Uh, it kind of goes to show that you do not have to be perfect with all this stuff um, in order to kind of get past it all. Now sprinting up there, we had to run up there. Um, there's kind of a swarm of rats that tries to snack on you if you stay on the ground. And ideally that's not what we want. So um, this is getting us uh, into the golden cap or, or nearby. Just gonna sneak over here, right to the edge. Get on this sign, and well, Sorry, lady. No, I'm we're good to go. Want me to show you? And uh, the guard on the balcony over here, but you know, have none of this. Just trying to make a living. Wait for him to stop sneezing or whatever he was doing. We'd hate for something to take a shot at somebody, miss him, and then, you know, I have to keep this no fun. He says to bring a ball in. That's more like it. Not as exciting. Food, I bring food. He says to undress. I undress. So, um, figure, you know, hey, roof's as good as place as any. Not many people are going to be coming up here looking for passed out guards, are they? I think we gotta sneak in here, and uh, this looks pretty empty. All quiet. 
Where did Morgan go? Down Grabbing some stuff up there. The steam room. The Tory Ellis knows. They're twins. Is that how you pick which is which? Yeah, they're parting ways, and uh, I doubt he's gonna look behind. Dunstan, the Pendletons are here. You're supposed to be on duty. Come on, you're supposed to be on guard. Uh, see if he was on guard, sure. maybe I wouldn't have I got past, this, but you said you weren't even drunk. it's not likely. Hey, Mr. Art Dealer. Finally, I've been like this for 20 minutes. Your footsteps sound a little loud. Have you gained a little weight, Bunny? Oh, 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 that's good. I deserve that one. Shall I tell you why? The Pendletons are here, right? I'll start with them. I've cheated them, robbed them of thousands. Well, I don't disagree with them, you know. Oh, you're ruthless. Don't hold back. I'll tell you everything. Pendleton's inheritance was worth hundreds of thousands at least. I told them it was junk. I kind of like this guy. Retribution! Retribution! Oh, that was perfect. But it's all I can take for tonight. Call my servants. We're done. Yeah, we're not done. Ah, we're done, I said. Retribution! Now let me out! I still don't think he, he uh, realizes who he's up against. Ah, what the? Who is this? What do you want? The safe, yes, of course. The combination is 879. Take anything you find. I think I felt my heart skip. But of course we can't have him getting out. Seems fitting. I hate to get uh, spotted on the way out here. Close the door. I believe these two are still. They can always polite to close doors. Nobody will spot you through a closed door, unless it's one with a window, which is well unfortunate. Um, but anyway, as we head back here, um, yeah, we're gonna have to be coming uh, back this way. But that's all right, you know, we're on the rooftop, so all it takes is a little patience and figuring out, you know, kind of where you can uh, use your blink to get around. And now we're safely on the roof. You know, you can uh, have a little run, get through this part uh, nice and quick. And again, nothing but rats in this building to, uh, you know, kind of uh, trouble us. And again, we'll give a sprint by those guys. We do not want them deciding that we are uh, dinner. And uh, this way, I figure, you know, up the street is uh, a little safer for crossing. I mean really lowers the chance that these guys are going to see us, so. And, uh... Attention, Dunwall citizens. This district now we're all the way back. We're going to go back to, uh, see good old Slackjaw. He's going to take care of the Pendletons in his own time. I think he gives us a little tip on uh, what he's going to do to him, so that'll, that'll be uh, good fun. Um, but again here we're gonna come around the corner and there's a always prudent always move slowly carefully when you're uh, kind of anywhere somebody might be just taking our time Let's see where I can get up here. Stupid rats, plague, elixir, bunch of crap. Guy doesn't sound uh, very thrilled about uh, the whole current rat plague situation. Oh, hey guys! Oh, almost got spotted there. Again, the amount of times it's uh, 
embarrassing. So it goes to show you don't have to have a perfect, uh, perfect playthrough. You can, uh, you can do pretty well, pretty well for yourself without, uh, without getting spotted. You know, you've got a, you got quite a bit of leeway. little cocky there and uh, take a little fall damage. So, again, still be careful, you know. Take your time. Don't jump off of roofs, I guess. Back in the neutral zone yet again. You'd think uh, at this distillery I could pick up a little whiskey or something, but uh, but no. Sadly, they deal, deal in other stuff. You brought me the numbers. I've been after this combination for months. If you ever need steady work, you come see me. Slackjaw knows a good man when he sees one. It's only natural that you'd be curious about what I intend to do with the Pendletons. See, the Pendletons got these rock mines. Have hundreds of souls working down there half a mile deep below ground. So I'm gonna shave their heads and cut out their tongues and put them in one of their own stinking minds. Then they're gonna see life from a different angle. The fuck are you looking <laughs> Oh my goodness. A little gruesome. But uh, as far as the, the mission objectives go, uh, they're not dead. We're not, we're not killing them, and, uh, you know, they're living, mostly, as much as a, as somebody lives, uh, tongueless in a rock mine. What the fuck are oh, you charming guys. Off, so as you can tell at this point, I'm a little, uh, a little bit antsy with my... You know, trips into this area, and it's like, okay, let's go ready. And, but, you know, being prudent still, we don't want to uh, be sprinting around the rooftops, and everybody's going to hear somebody sprinting around rooftops. And uh, again, I really don't want to get uh, spotted this late in the game, so um, having to do this all over again would, you know, be unfortunate. So let's, uh, let's make sure we do all right. Again, we see a couple of the plague victims down there, but at this point, they're not uh, interested in me being so far away. So, I kind of like hearing how the uh, footsteps change depending on the uh, what you're walking on. He thought he saw something. I don't know about it. it seems like there's a few more people around here. Not sure where he went over there. But this is by and far the better way to go, and pl plenty far away. Hey, you're not seeing anything. And again, back in the uh, was this the captain's chair? Have a sprint by those uh, that flock of rats up the stairs. Only getting caught on the occasional uh, group of weird lanterns on the ground. I feel like we've done this before, but uh, yeah, so come across the roofs, sneaky, sneaky mode. I would hate to uh, go to teleport across the roof there and miss that uh, sign by six inches. And uh, well, they'd know about me, but I don't think I'd have to worry about it. So there's that, right? 
So now we're gonna we're going in here to see if we can find Emily, um, who only recently I found out is actually the daughter of Corvo. They have to pay. Yes, ma'am. No credit at the Golden Cat. I understand. Do Custis and Morgan Pendleton know that your men spend half their time flirting? But yeah, as I was saying, um, I only recently learned that, uh, it was kind of a suspected thing. But I only recently learned that, you know, officially, you know, as per Dishonored lore Piece and all trash, that, um, she's actually his daughter. Which, I guess, makes sense as to why he's trying so hard to go and rescue her. Um, so there we are. The madam has probably got some idea of where they're at, so... She gonna have to take a nap as well. Master key, that'll be helpful. See if there's uh, anything about. Well, no. Potions around, we might as well take these. Hey, there we go. We needed this key in order to. Uh, in order to be able to uh, get Emily. Again, checking for notes, see if there's anything in here. She must be around. Hearing that door shut, I wanted to. Take a peek, make sure there's nobody out here. I think her as well. We, uh, I was thinking that, uh, wanted to have her out here taking a nap with this guy in the roof. Maybe they'll, uh, wake up and go, oh, well, maybe, maybe this is all right, you know? Wasn't too strange. But yeah, we'll go ahead and throw her up here too. What a couple. Again, back into the Golden Cat. And that's the uh, dormitories up there. Remember I was playing through this, getting, uh, getting used to the level, and uh, one of the gals was walking down these stairs and almost spotted me, so... Always pays to be prudent about this. That doesn't look like our Emily. Don't think that's it. Too obvious, right? Here she is. Who are you? Why are you wearing that mask? to sneak around, right? Yep. They, they, they told me you were head chopped off in, in the prison, dead, like, like mother. That seems like a long time ago. But you're not dead. Now we can leave. I have a plan. I almost got away twice. There's a special door to come and go for special people, and I'll show you. And if anyone tries to stop us, you can fight them. Well, hopefully for the uh, sake of this playthrough, nobody tries it's to stop way. us. Because uh, that would be troublesome as far as, you know, not getting spotted and not killing anyone. Gosh, she runs fast. I'm just trying to be sneaky here. Just tell her to sneak more, but uh, maybe she's got real, real light, uh, light steps and stuff. Grab a few uh, things there. The door is locked. Unlock it so we can get away from this place. This so you must have come by boat. I'll wait for you near the boat. I remember the way. Don't worry about me. And there we go. Rescued. I thought she gets makes her way back. So I mean, heck, she's uh, she has an easier time of it than I do. But yeah, you know, again, grabbing everything that's not bolted down in the way. This gal's a little Come strange. 
Come to dinner now. That's right. My There's no birds there. I'll have to go over to the uh, full full playthrough I do in order to kind of uh, see a little bit more of that gal. But gosh, is she weird. Ah, again, we hear that uh, announcement. One of the oldest traditions of the Abbey of the Everyman. It is now a minor criminal offense to offer this man aid or housing. In this time of spiritual crisis, the overseers have initiated the Feast of Painted Kettles until a new high overseer yeah. is chosen. Yeah, it was kind of a fun thing, not just a non-lethal getting rid of him, but, uh, you know, got uh, got the high overseer expelled from his order and everything, oh, which is just great because he's... Uh, He's not a good dude. Looking around, seeing a bunch of a few things out there that we can uh, Attention, potentially Dunwall climb citizens. up to and around. A mandatory whale oil ration is now in effect. That's where it could come back and bite me. Remember that one guy? He's right there. If I got uh, busted by him, that drew all the way over here. That'd be a bit unfortunate. Here we are. Are you both ready to go? Corvo, you must have worked wonders out there in the city tonight. I can't believe my old eyes. And there we go. Again, almost being spotted several times and everything. Really not too bad. So anyway, join us in the next one as we continue Corvo's struggle. Again, thanks for watching. Like if you like, sub if you haven't, and we will catch you in the next one.